sir. Would you like some scrap? No. Hello, how are you? So, this is my sixth day. I know that I did make the video about the day five. Yeah, I'm going to talk about it. And it was yesterday, it, was, um, it wasn't that productive yesterday because, like, the morning after breakfast, I've been um, here all day at the hotel, um, um, just uh, checking for some photos, deleting them, and uh, yeah, uh, mostly about that. And I had some good rest finally. And uh, yeah, you know, like when the weather is like boiling hot outside, I, uh, I don't. And I'm I'm a kind of person that I don't like uh, hot weather personally. So yeah. And then I had some rest. Then um, the evening I went out to this restaurant. Actually, I've been to this restaurant like my first night. I had my first couscous in uh, Morocco, and uh, it was a great great experience. The first night. <laughs> and um, so yeah, I went to the same restaurant and I asked them like couscous and uh, they, they they didn't have it because they cook it only on Friday for some reason. And the thing that makes me not that the thing that makes me angry, but like I'm like they they only have like two traditional dishes here. Oh, you you or you get the tagine or you get the couscous. So. I had uh, like besides the couscous, I had uh, take the tagine, but I'm I'm uh, fed up with the tagine now because I had it already for three days and that that's enough. And uh, on the menu they also had like um, uh, lasagna and a pizza, but they are from Italy, so I don't want to try them. I already have in oh, countless time uh, lasagna, pizza, pasta, yeah. So yeah, and uh, then I had. Um, like um morocco and traditional sweets i don't know why it was expensive like more expensive than um the panna cotta because panna cotta was very good on my first night the traditional sweets were like a, they, they were literally like a round biscuits uh yeah they were like uh biscuits and uh it was good it was good but honestly it wasn't that I mean like it, it, it's not worth as a panna cotta according to me because like panna cotta the evening it's, it's a great option because it's cold and the the, the flavor <sighs> panna cotta Italian <laughs> um, so yeah um, after the restaurant thing I went outside I went to see them like explore um another part of the the city i think the rich side yeah they i saw like uh ferraris uh bmws uh, yeah super cool cars and uh a lamborghini urus wow <laughs> that, that's not what make us happy okay <laughs> so, yeah um uh after that uh, yeah i went to explore the city in the night uh, um, I went to Minara Mall where are, there are a lot of shops and uh, yeah uh, people can go there buy some stuff uh, I mean I've been to like few shops but I, because I needed like some shorts but I couldn't find uh, my type the, 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 the fashion I needed you know and um, there was also like a, a sport shop and I went to there because I also need like a, a like a shorts to run and they were expensive they were expensive like 35 euros and a, no no even more like a there was like a pant like a running um pants and they were like a 520 dirhams and that that's like the same amount of money you can buy in italy so so yeah i didn't buy anything and uh, it was a nice place because then uh, um Oh, I tried also the toilet and they were pretty clean. So I was so surprised to see that place uh, so clean. And um, close to the toilets, I also saw a place to pray and that's uh, 
nice thing because like I saw some videos on the internet in like uh, Saudi Arabia in uh, Qatar like they have like these uh, um, praying times like on Friday and uh, like they stop they close everything and then they go pray and here in this mall they like uh, have these two separate places like one place for women and one another like for men I mean it's not attached but it is still separate two rooms and uh, I don't know I find this culture very unique and interesting um, like Muslim culture not the, not the Moroccan uh, because like they respect a lot their religion they compare to other religions that I see in the world or they pretend to be so I don't know Muslim mus Muslims are unique they 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 respect their culture and the religion but that, that's uh, impressive that's good so yeah besides that i uh, walk a little bit uh, and uh, again i came to see the kutubia mosque again from the outside because as a non-muslim we can go there and i think like in the evening it's also close and uh, then uh, i wanted to see the bahia it's a town school like a Bahia um, palace and uh, yeah it was like like every, like there are some palaces and a mosque like they are like in a close places like you can even like see it from the outside like like when you think about a palace no we think about like a beautiful architecture models architecture where you can see it from the outside take pictures because the the me the real meaning of a palace like in Europe in Western countries to like a showcase the architecture of that empire or the 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 power of the building, but here like, they they are like a uh, they are like huge walls and they are protected and they are yeah, they are closed environments and uh, I didn't even get to see yeah. So, and then I went to the Jamil Nar Square. Is that how it's called? Yeah, I guess like uh, where there are like uh, so many like uh, stalls where you can buy stuff. And uh, yeah, nothing, nothing new. I I saw already these things like within two days. And uh, yeah, that 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 was uh, it for today. And uh, I also saw like um um like a. Uh, uh, like so many families on uh, grass in the night like the the life here in uh, Morocco or I guess like in general like in um, in African and uh, Middle Eastern countries since it's very boiling hot during the day people go outside with their family members they are I don't I, I don't think with couples like as a couple as a, like a girlfriend boyfriend because the culture is different it's not the Western countries where you kiss and hug your partner before you get married so they mostly go with their families and a uh, picnic they sit on the, gra on the grass and uh, have some dinner and uh, they have like those like uh, blankets uh, bed sheets and they throw sometimes they throw them on the uh, grass and they sit and uh, eat there it's a cool thing and uh, i also saw like uh, since it is a very hot country during like uh, eight, uh, let's see, uh, ten thirty or eleven, they they like um, spray water to this grass and uh, because to to keep them um, hydrated. <laughs> I I think it's not the that word. Okay, um, so you see, like I am very spontaneous. And, and the, the the videos I make, they are not like planned or things. I I would like to express myself, uh, show what I saw and. Uh, what I think about uh, the places I visit, I don't want to uh, have like a plan or schedules thing saying, yeah, you must say this. No, no, it's very spontaneous and yeah, uh, uh, yeah, that that's uh, what I saw today. And uh, the public transportation works, but I didn't take them because they are packed, and uh, yeah, I don't want to take them for some reason because I mean I'm in a citizen, so I don't have to take any public transportation and uh, yeah that's it for today and uh, for yesterday I mean and uh, I will talk more about today like the day six 
but I am not sure what I'm going to do today because there are like nothing else to see I guess and uh, yeah and, uh, but let's see I will give you a um, quick uh, recap of the trip and the day and how it went and uh, yeah so yeah and until then uh, we will see you again today maybe a little bit later <laughs>